Hi guys, I Aziz welcome you to Codemaster and in this video, I am going to talk about type erasure in generics. Type erasure is a process of removing all the type parameters during compilation of the code. So if you are willing to learn about what is type erasure and how it works, then this video is for you. So make sure to watch this video till the end. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Alright guys. Let's begin this video. So guys, in order to understand type erasure in generics, I want to take you in back in time when there was no generics in Java. It was a good old days when we used to write code like this with lot of casting operations. Here we have array list, here we have row type of list, then we are adding elements to it and then while getting elements back, we are converting an element to string type. So this is how we used to write code prior to Java 5. But guys, this way of writing a code is really a pain point for developers. Because whenever we have to get elements from list, we always have to cast to a desired type. And not only that, we have to use casting in a lot of places. So in order to solve this problem, generics was introduced in Java, in Java version 5. And what was the goal of generics? The goal of generic is simple, to provide a strongly type check at compile time. So after generic was introduced, we started writing code like this. Okay. Now we have array list. We can pass type argument. Then we can add element to list. And then without casting anything, we can directly store the element in the variable of type string. This is how we started writing code after advent of generics. But guys, if you look at this piece of code here, you will see that there are two things here. We do not have generics. And we have casting and here we do not have casting but we have generics and there may be time when you have a legacy code where entire project is written in old version of code right meaning without generics and now generic was introduced and you started writing code like this so there is a big problem with this type of code because you have older version of code and now you have newer version of code now the real challenge is that how to maintain the synergy between old code and new code so it was a big challenge for Java team and they also have to make sure the backward compatibility of the code. So whenever you write newer code, it must work with the old code. So to solve this problem, they stick with an idea that it is better to provide tighter type safety at compile time and not at runtime. So that is why Java generic provides only tighter type checks at compile time and not in runtime. Now this brings us to the question that if Java provides only tightly compile check at runtime, then what will happen with these types at runtime? What happens when we compile this code? Is this type parameters remain in the bytecode or not? So guys, the answer to this question is these types will be removed during the compilation of the code. And why is it so? Because to maintain the backward compatibility. And you can imagine that if we had this type of code, then there is again one problem with this code that is we have to update the JVM as we are introducing new concept in the programming language. We have to update the JVM. But if we do not consider this type parameters at runtime, then we do not have to update the JVM. We can simply keep this feature only for the compile time and rest compile this code as same as old code and run it as it is in JVM. So if we go with this idea, we get three advantages. We do not have to update the JVM. Okay to incorporate the new syntax. Second one is we are getting the compile time safety check, right? And the third one is, and the third one is we are getting backward compatibility with the code that are returned prior to Java 5, right? So now the question is what happens with this type parameters? So guys, this is where the concept of type erasures come into picture. And what happened in type erasure? When you compile this code, all the type parameters will be removed in the bytecode. And this also saves some sort of memory in the RAM because if we have a lot of type parameters, then obviously it's going to consume more amount of memory and more amount of RAM. So basically long story short, type erasure is a process of removing all the type parameters so that we get backward compatibility. We do not have to rewrite or change anything in the Java virtual machine. And on top of that, we also get compile time type safety feature. Okay, but with the incurred cost of not getting type safety feature at runtime. And always remember that 
using generics you get type safety features only at compile time not at runtime okay so now let me show you different examples of what happens when you write generic code and how it gets converted into normal code during compilation process okay so let's see this example so let's say we have a node class and this node class is a generic class okay you can see over here the type parameter is t t t and t now let's see what happens when we compile this code what happens with this type parameters so when this uh, node class gets compiled it converts into this code okay so here all the type parameters is converted into object you can see over here object object so what happens in type erasure process the type parameter is replaced with its first bound if the type parameter is bounded and if the type parameter is not bounded it gets replaced by the object so as we can see that here the type t is not bounded with any other type so so that is why all the occurrence of the t gets replaced with object as you can see here okay so this is the code before compilation and this is the code after compilation and you can see over here is that all the occurrence of type t and you can see over here is after compilation all the occurrence of t has been substituted by object now let's see another example let's say if we have code like this now you can see over here the node class is generic class and now this t is bounded with comparable interface right so in this case what happens so as i said that while compilation process the type gets replaced with its first bounded parameter okay and if it is not bounded then it gets replaced with the object so in this case it is bounded with the comparable so what happens when you compile this code so after compilation you will get a result something like this so here all the occurrence of t has been replaced by comparable right because the closest bounded parameter of t is comparable so i hope this is clear to you now let me show you some more example to make you understand how type erasure works so let's consider this method this method is again a generic method with type t and it is taking an array of type t and an element of type t and it is counting the occurrence of this element in the given array now what happens when we compile this code let me show you so as you can see that this type is not bounded with any type so which means after compilation the code gets converted into like this so here as the t is not bounded with any type all the occurrence of t has been replaced with object as you can see object here object here object here okay so guys this is the entire process of type erasure that how the type parameters are replaced at compile time and substituted with the first bounded parameter if the parameter is bounded otherwise it gets substituted by the object type so let me recall once again what are the advantages we get uh, using this uh, type erasure process that first of all generic was introduced just to provide tighter type check at compile time rather than run time and why is it so to maintain the backward compatibility of the code okay now using type erasure we are getting three advantages first of all we do not need to change anything in the virtual machine we are getting backward compatibility and we are also getting compile time type safety with the incurred cost of not getting the type safety feature at run time type safety features will not be available at run time at all so guys this is the entire concept of type erasure how all the type gets erased during compilation process to make code same as previous version of code so i hope the concept of type erasure is clear to you if you learned something valuable from this video then hit the like button in order to make youtube algorithm happy please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon so my friend you never miss any upcoming video thanks for watching see you in the next one